Today I want to talk a little bit about the header section inside of CRM on a form. What we're really doing here is we're calling out um, some of the most important fields that are on the form or maybe even don't appear on the form. Um, in this case I wanted to point out that if you have a field on the form I can change the amount inside of the header and it will automatically update if the same field appears on the form. Um, so let's go ahead and try and edit the header a little bit. The header, the header inside of CRM is a little bit limited. So by default when I pull up my form editor I'm dropped into the summary section. I can scroll up to look at the header. You can see it's grayed out. I could double click to gain access or I could click on the ribbon in my header section. You can see it turns white. Um, you can see what I have organized here inside the header doesn't match what's ended up here inside of my live form. That's because you really only get to show four fields in the header. You can show less, but no more than four. Um, and unlike in the summary section, spacers don't work and the stacking doesn't work. So you can see I'm three fields straight across, even though I've tried to make them a little bit more vertical inside of the header. I'm limited in what I can do there. Um, also, if I try and drop a fifth field in, I get this warning that we're going to show this in compatibility mode. You're not going to see, see your fourth header. Sorry. Uh, so I'll remove that. I'm also going to get rid of my spacer since there's really no point to that. Um, there's also width and formatting, but really they don't do much inside of the header. Um, you can change your labeling.